Tourism in Southwest Michigan is more than just a regional affair. It is now a national and international business. Congressman Fred Upton, a group of state lawmakers, and a slew of representatives from Southwestern Michigan tourism industry came together in South Haven to discuss the state of tourism. Just in our congressional district, which is, and when you think about it, it's Allegan County to the north, down to the state line, all of Kalamazoo County, Tour tourists spent almost a billion dollars in 2012. It was just shy of a billion dollars. There's a, a, a tremendous amount of opportunity that exists with hundreds of millions of people across the world who don't know the beauty of Southwest Michigan, who don't yet know that the rest of the United States exists in the middle of the nation, not just the coasts, not the east and west coast, but right here in Southwest Michigan on the Great Lakes. You really can't beat uh, what we have to offer, whether it be here in South Haven or in St. Joseph or New Buffalo, the beach towns, let alone all of our agritourism and the opportunities that exist to, to really get out of the city and see what happens in Southwest Michigan. We're blessed to have that, but part of that is just to, to provide an environment that is exciting, an environment that is welcoming, and an environment that really accepts having new people come to join us in Southwest Michigan to spend their dollars. That benefits all of us. You know, the impact of, of uh, travel spending in Michigan in 2013 was $18.7 billion. 13.8 of that billion was in leisure. You heard Mickey talk about a third of it in winter sports, and we certainly know how important leisure travel is to our to our state. It's important to not just the lakeshore communities, but it's important to the rest of the state that it has lots of leisure tourism coming into the urban centers throughout the state of Michigan. Asian carp is one of the invasive species that really puts the Great Lakes at significant risk. Obviously, our tourism industry benefits from fishing and the, and, and the commercial fishing also, not just the tourism, but also the commercial fishing. If we lose that as a part of our ecosystem, we're going to be in huge trouble in the Great Lakes states overall. Uh, but again, the importance though is, is to recognize that, that the, the, the sto sorts of stories that come out of Southwest Michigan and the Great Lakes region can really be damaging if, if for some reason the belief becomes nationally and internationally that the Great Lakes are now dead because of the Asian carp, which is why it is so critical with this massive industry that we focus attention on eradicating the Asian carp and ensuring that the Asian carp do not put a strong foothold here in the Great Lakes. Attendees took a bike ride from the South Haven Yacht Club down to the South Pier. As for the discussion of tourism, it'll continue. Reporting for WSGM News, I'm Jason Scott.